Hi again, first graders. Welcome to lesson six of the Survival of Living Things unit. Today, I am sending you on an investigation. Investigation. Yes, you'll have to go outside and make sure you bring an adult with you. That is very important. Let's begin. So first, we're going to think about what evidence can we provide to show that plants are alike, but not exactly like their parents. Remember yesterday we looked at the photos of the lions and the penguins and they had a lot of similarities with each other but they didn't look exactly alike. Now today we're going to do that but instead with plants, a different type of living thing. Our learning target is today is that we will be able to make observations and provide evidence that show how plants can be similar to but not exactly like their parents. And today we're going to prove how hereditary traits can make living things alike, but not exactly like their parents. And here we have an adult and an offspring. Pretty cool. They have a lot of similarities. And they have pretty good camouflage. So variations is another word for slight changes that exist in living things of the same species. You can take a minute and pause the video and look closely at all of these bees. They're mostly all related and they look a lot alike, but they're not exactly alike. See if you can notice some of the variations or differences in these bees. Good luck. Let's look at the variations that exist in some different species of plants next. You should have a booklet with you called Let's Investigate Inherited Traits. Go ahead and put your name at the top here so I know whose it is. And you can go ahead and decorate the front cover. And when you're finished, you may unpause the video and continue to the next page. Uh, here is where you'll have to pause the video and go outside with an adult. I'm asking you to go into your yard or to a park or somewhere nearby and find two leaves from the same plant. These leaves will be siblings to each other. Maybe it's from a bush or a flower or a tree. Try not to pick them up off the ground because you won't know for sure which plant they came from, try to pick them directly off of the plant and make sure an adult is with you to make sure it's a safe plant to pick from. Once you've done this, come back to the video and I'll explain how to do this worksheet. Now, now that you have your leaves with you, leaf one and leaf two, normally if we were at school, you would put them under microscopes. That's what these pictures are supposed to be of and you would look really closely at these leaves. What I want you to do is try to look closely with your own eyes and draw for me here exactly what leaf you chose for leaf number one and what it looks like. Draw the outline, draw the vein or stem that goes through it, draw the little veins that come out from the stem, Try to make it look exactly what it looks like in real life because I can't be there with you and I really want to see what it looks like. Then when you go to draw your second leaf, try to draw exactly what it looks like as well. I'm sure that it looks a lot the same as the first leaf, but I'm betting that it has some slight differences. Try to show that here in your second leaf drawing. Pause the video to take some time to draw with lots of detail. And when you're finished, we can go to the next page. Now that you've finished your drawings, we're going to go through and you're gonna tell me which traits leaf one and leaf two have that are similar or alike. We're not gonna talk about differences yet, that will be on the next page. Right now I want to know what is the same or almost the same. First is the veining. Go ahead and look at the vein or the lines that go through your leaf. Are those traits that they have that are similar? Then color yes. If that's not something they have that is similar, color no. And if you need to, describe your answer here. 
Is the size similar? Are they similar in size, yes or no? Are they similar in shape? Are they similar in color? And are they similar in texture, how they feel? You don't need to add details if you don't have to, but if it's confusing and it would help me understand what your leaves look like, go ahead and add that description here. Feel free to pause to do nice neat work. When you're finished, you may go to the next page. Here's the page where I want to know what's different between leaves one and leaf two. It has all of the same things, the veining, yes or no, the size, the shape, the color, and the texture, how it feels. Let me know what, if the traits are similar, or let me know here if they're different than each other. Go ahead and describe if you need to. Take a minute to pause the video to do nice, neat work. And when you're finished, you can go to the next page. On this page, you'll write for me, how do you know that young plants can be like, but not exactly like their parents? Go ahead and write what you know here on these lines. Feel free to pause, and when you're finished, you may go to the next slide. Now's the minute where you think about what we thought about at the beginning of this lesson. What evidence did we provide to show that there are variations or differences in traits of plants? Feel free to discuss with your families. And did we hit our learning target? That we can make observations and provide evidence that shows how plants can be similar to, but not exactly like their parents. Well, I hope you did, and I can't wait to see what leaves you chose for your investigation. Thank you for your hard work, and I'll see you tomorrow for Lesson 7.